Hey, what's up, DJ? What's up, man? Um, pretty good. Um, what's the you know um, what's the off season been like for you and and you know how has it been with uh, Sam Darno um, in these in these few days you've been able to work with him? Uh, the off season been man, it it been good. Uh, you know we all here, so uh, working with Sam been good day in and day out. Uh, getting some time and down. It's always good when you got OTAs. What's the What's the biggest thing you've been impressed with him uh, so far in these first few days? Now he's just soaking up everything that uh, the coaches is throwing at him, and he's just going out there and just being a creepy that he is. All right, we'll go to Will Palachik, uh WFNZ. What's up, DJ? As as far as just being on the field, I know you guys weren't on the field necessarily at this time last year. How much different is it kind of being on the field at this time of the year, and how much more do you feel like you're able to process as far as this install going into the year? Uh, I don't feel no different, uh, even though last year we was off. I mean, OTAs has been – I had OTAs, what, three years now, so it really don't feel no different. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's really it. It just don't feel different to me. Mike Solarte, please. Hey, DJ, what's happening? Uh, question for you. Being the, uh, you, you, it seems like with the roster the way that it is, you, you've you become the uh, the leader of this wide receiver group. I mean, how do you how do you view yourself going into the season with that collection of guys that will be uh, on the roster in the fall? Uh, just set an example, Dan and Dale, just working hard. Uh, even though some of the guys in the room are older than me, they all they all just still come to ask me questions or whatnot. Uh, we push each other. They push me. They see something that I didn't do right. They they tell me about it. I ask them questions. So it's just like all in the room, just just going back and forth with uh, dialogue to help each other get better. Go to Elena Getzenberg. Hey DJ, um, I was just curious. I know you're involved in that repping the team for the NFLPA, and I was just curious. You know, when when the team's discussions to you know almost everyone's there. Why was that important to you guys? And you know, why why are you there? And why do you think it's important for it to have OTAs? Uh, because we wanted the youngest teams in the league. So when I was talking to some of the other uh, leaders, like the older players on the team, they was like, since we're so young, we might as well just go ahead and go in and. Uh, get it down and uh, get it done with the rest of the team, uh, not be all separated throughout the country. You know, people, we got people that's out, but still, they still in constant communication with us. So it's all good. And we just happy to be here. So it was never much of a conversation to kind of miss this time. That wasn't really much of the dialogue. Uh, no, we had a, a, we had multiple discussions leading up to this, but nobody was ever, ever against it. Like not going in. And then last one for me, just I know you're close with Robbie <clears throat> being there. Is that something that, you know, you're talking to him about him not being there, concerned about or not too big of a deal? Uh, I'm not concerned about it. Um, we talk every day. Uh, I try to keep him in the loop. Uh, he, I know he's working hard, like everybody on his team know he's working hard down where where he stay at. So whatever he's doing is whatever he's doing. Like he's getting better. We want him here. I would love him here because that's my, that's my boy. But I know he's working hard. So – I'm cool with it. All right, Joe Person. Hey, DJ, good to uh, good to talk to you. Wondered uh, kind of what your early impressions have been. Uh, we talked to Matt Rule today about Ian, and he said Ian Thomas had a real good off season. Just kind of wondered what you've seen from Ian early on here. From Ian, I I couldn't tell you right now because uh, I've just been so focused on what my group doing and getting coached up by Coach Frizz and just learning everything else over again. I wanted to ask you also: Do you feel faster wearing two? Mm -hmm. Do I feel fat? No, I, I I feel a little faster. Like every year, I feel like I get faster, but the number ain't got nothing to do with it. All right, guys, DJ's a little up against it, so we'll go ahead and finish off with two here um, to folks that haven't gotten questions yet. Steven Toronto, and then we'll finish with Herb White. Hey, DJ, each year of your NFL career, you've had a different quarterback throwing to you. You had Cam as a rookie, Kyle two years ago, Teddy last year. Now you've got Sam. How does it change things for a wide receiver when you've got a different guy throwing to you each year? And and eventually, would you like to have some continuity at quarterback just to say, you know, this is this is my guy. This is who I'm catching passes mm -hmm. from. This is who I'm developing a relationship with. I mean, I don't ever look at it as like 
how can I put this? Like, you never know who who going to go down. So you can never just be stuck on one person because if you just get stuck on that one person, you, you're going to blank out the rest of the people that's on the team. And when it's their turn to sign, it's like, all right, now you got to relearn everything with them. So I don't really look at it like that. Like, I practice with all the quarterbacks. Uh, like I did with Will this offseason. I did with PJ and then Sam came. We all, all got all types of connections with all three of them. So whoever go in, I'm cool with. Herb, uh, last one to you. Okay, thank you. Uh, DJ, uh, can you talk a little bit about mentoring some of the younger receivers like Terrace Marshall and how has he done – in, in terms of impressing you and what he needs to work on, that kind of thing? Shoot, I don't, they don't got to impress me. Uh, that's the thing. Uh, like, they ask me questions, but, like, they actually go out there and do it to the best of their ability. If they see something, like, if I see something wrong, I'd be like, hey, you got to do such and such better. And, like, that's that's all I really got really to say to them because the film going to always back it up uh, to help them get better.